Just look at how many dishes your mom made. Daddy, da, da, da. Hi, Daddy, I'm here. Daisy, come on, stop skating around. It's dinner time. Dinner's right now. Stop skateboarding. <laughs> no, Mommy, watch out! <laughs> Minky toys and dolls. Mmm, <laughs> smells good, honey. Oh, I'm just starving. Can't wait for dinner. Oh, I'm finally done dinner. Since we have such a picky eating family, I had to make everyone their favorite dish, so it took me a while. Nobody wants to eat the same thing in this family. Our girls are quite picky eaters, but I'm not a picky eater. I would have ate anything that you cooked for me. Oh, everything smells so good. Ooh, which one's my dish? Is it this one? Or is it that one? Or this one? I will really eat anything, honey. It all looks so good. I know, I know, I shouldn't spoil our girls, but ever since they were a baby, I've been making their favorite dishes for dinner and lunch. I know I shouldn't, but I always customize it to what they like the most. Well, if you ask me, I think that you are a very loving and patient mother. But now that our girls are more grown up, you don't have to spoil them anymore. Yeah, you're right, but I guess just breaking habits is harder than it looks. Okay, dinner's ready. We got forks on the table. Okay, time to call the girls. It's dinner time. Girls, come down for dinner, please. Daddy's really hungry. Hurry, girls. Before the food gets cold, I can't wait to eat. Girls, Crystal Star, Uptown Girl, Daisy. Daddy, da, da, da. Hi, Daddy, I'm here. Hold on, I just want to skateboard a little bit more. I just got the skateboard, so I really want to skateboard. Coming, coming. Mom, did you make me eggs? For some reason, I want eggs, even though I already had eggs for breakfast. So weird, right? Present, I'm here. Ooh, something smells really good, Mom. I don't know how Mom does it every dinner time, but she manages to cook all of our favorite meals all the time. Oh, and it all smells so good. I kind of want a piece of yours. You can have some of mine if you give me some of yours. Deal. Deal. That's one of the good things about having siblings is that you can share food and stuff together. Don't you guys agree? Give this video a like if you do. Your mom has worked really hard on this dinner tonight, so let's enjoy it and really appreciate her hard work. Just look at how many dishes your mom made and how good all the dishes look. Your mom made this dinner, which is so much love. Yay, mommy, you're the bestest! Wee! Wee, 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 wee. Mommy, look! I can cheer for you and also skateboard with just one leg. Ta-da! Daisy, come on, stop skating around. It's dinner time. We have to eat dinner before it gets cold. And did you hear what dad was saying? Let's appreciate mom's hard work by really eating the food that she made for us. Daisy! Just a little bit longer. I'm skateboarding. Hit <laughs> one foot. <laughs> Dad, Daisy never listens to me. She's still skateboarding around and it's dinner time. Daisy, why are you skateboarding in the kitchen? You know you're not allowed to skateboard in the kitchen. Not yet. Just a little longer. Just eat first without me. I'm gonna skateboard just a little longer. Jeez. How are we supposed to focus and eat with you skateboarding back and forth? And besides, you're not even supposed to be skateboarding inside the house. Mom, Dad, are you going to let her get away with this? Yeah, she's still skateboarding and I told her to stop. She's always doing everything that she wants and she never listens to anyone. Mom, you should ground her for skateboarding in the kitchen. Dad, take away her bedtime story for tonight. Daisy, sweetheart, it's dinner time. Please put your skateboard away. It's time for a family meal now. Princess, why don't you put your skateboard away and you can skateboard some more after dinner. Let us all eat first. Can I have cake or ice cream if I have dinner now? I think it should be okay. Right, Mom? Daisy can have some ice cream after dinner? Mmm... Sweets before bedtime does get you extra energetic, but if you come for dinner, then sure honey, you can have a little bit of ice cream after dinner. But only if you eat your vegetables. Ew! I don't want no vegetables! Not coming! What? Mom! Dad! Why are you being so nice? Aren't you gonna take away her bedtime story, or ground her, or give her any punishment? 
She's skateboarding in the kitchen. I can't believe my sister gets away with everything. Does that happen in your family? Sometimes I feel like because Daisy is our little sister and she's the youngest, she's like mom and dad's favorite child. Well, I feel that way too. She gets away with everything. Do you guys have that problem? Does your sibling get away with everything? And our parents rarely ever punish her for anything. She can do anything that she wants. Does this happen in your household? If it does too, then at least let us know so we don't feel so alone by pressing that like button and subscribing so that you can watch more of our family. Daisy, dinner is not optional. You can't have dinner whenever you want it. Now I, yes I can. Dinner's right now. Stop skateboarding. <laughs> no, you can't make me. And it's dangerous. You might run into mom. Na 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 na, I can't hear you. Come on, sweetheart, Daisy, please. It's time for dinner. Put your skateboard away, please. Okay, well, let me bring the broccolis over. Oh no, mommy, watch out! <laughs> oh no, sweetheart, are you okay? And the vegetables, the vegetables, are there any left? Oh my goodness, Daisy, are you okay, sweetheart? Are you hurt anywhere? <laughs> hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. <laughs> See? See? This was exactly what I was talking about. This is why we don't skateboard in the kitchen. Something like this was bound to happen. Mom, are you okay? And you shouldn't be coddling her like that. She should be in trouble for skateboarding and running into you. Oh no! Are you okay? Is, is everyone okay? Or is anyone hurt? Oh my goodness, I knew this would happen. I called it. I knew she shouldn't be skateboarding around the house. I said it was dangerous. And look what happened. She skateboarded right into mom. And, well, I guess it's kind of a good thing. No vegetables, but oh my goodness. Shh, it's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. Are you okay anywhere? It's okay. You can tell mommy if you're hurt. Are you okay, sweetie? I'm okay, mommy. But I fell down my skateboard. I know, I know. But as long as you're not hurt anywhere. See, this is why we don't skateboard in the kitchen. Well, I'm just glad that you're okay. Are you okay, mommy? Uh, uh, how unfair is that? Mom, stop coddling her. You should be scolding her right now. Well, thank goodness everyone is okay and no one is hurt. I'm just glad that we're all okay. What? None of our parents are mad at Daisy? Seriously, our little sister gets away with everything. Well, now do you know why we don't skateboard inside the house, Daisy? It can be very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Well, promise you won't skateboard inside the house again in the future? Yeah, Mommy. I promise I won't skateboard inside the house again in the future. You sure? Promise? Uh-huh. I promise I won't skateboard inside the house anymore, Mommy. I'm sorry. Okay, well that's my good girl. Now let's go over there and have some dinner. Ugh, so unfair. Yeah, this is so unfair. Okay, I better clean this up. Luckily, we still have some broccoli left. We still have some vegetables, even though a bunch are on the ground. I'm gonna have to wipe the floor. It is like the workload never ends in this house. <sighs> come here, princess. Come to daddy. Daddy! I was skateboarding and then I actually bumped into mom and I fell right here and it hurts a little. <laughs> and then all the veggies are falling on the floor. Oh, we'll punish that skateboard for making you fall later. And after dinner, Daddy will give you an extra scoop of ice cream. Extra ice cream? Yay, Daddy! You're the bestest! Dad, you're not supposed to reward her for being bad. She just skateboarded inside the house and knocked into Mom and kind of ruined dinner. And you're going to give her an extra scoop of ice cream? How is she ever going to learn her lesson? Oh, I think your sister has learned her lesson. Right, honey? You told mommy you wouldn't skateboard inside the house anymore? Uh-huh. 
I won't skateboard inside the house anymore. I promise. I learned my lesson. Can I get another scoop of ice cream? I want three scoops of ice cream, please, please, please. Oh, this is madness. My little sister is so spoiled. You can have some desserts after you eat dinner and also eat your vegetables, which I managed to preserve some. I work really hard to work on your nutrition, girl, so I hope everybody eats their vegetables tonight. Ah, here you go. Okay, okay, let's all finally eat our dinner now. It's starting to get real cold. Mm, but mommy, I don't want to eat this. I want to eat my favorite noodles with, with the soup, soup, soup stuff. I don't want to have rice tonight. I don't want to eat this. I'm not going to eat it. I knew this was going to happen, so I did make you your favorite noodles, just in case. Here you go, sweetie. Yay! Yay! Noodles! 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 I don't want to eat anything but yummy noodles. Mom, you spoil her too much. You already made such an amazing dinner for us, and she went and kind of ruined it by skateboarding into you. You didn't punish her, and you even made her her very own noodle soup. Uh, you're just giving her everything she wants. You're spoiling her, Mom. Oh, honey, you might not remember this, but when you were younger, you were like this too. And it's just a phase. Eventually, as you grow, you mature, and you grew out of it. She's still just a little child. When she grows older and she can understand more, we'll teach her more. But right now, we just have to be a little bit more patient. You were like this when you were younger too, sweetie. I remember being this boy when I was younger. Well, I guess there's no point arguing. I might as well just eat my food before it gets too cold. Mmm, mmm, so good. The meat is so tender and just melts in your mouth. Mmm, mmm, yum. Oh, I'm going to grab some more eggs. So good. Oh, it's so good. Mom, how is your doctor's appointment today? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, yeah, you went to see the doctor today. How was it? It was boring because I was there for so long, but I met a new friend. I also saw some cute babies. And there was a lot of people at the hospital today. It was really crowded. This is so good, Mommy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Speaking of which, I have amazing news for our family. Okay, is everyone ready? I want to share with you all the big news. Wait, wait, wait. Let me eat a little first. It's been such a busy day running to the hospital, cleaning the house, and then taking your sister to run errands. I barely had time to eat all day. Mmm. This is really good. My cooking is incredible. Okay, ready? Oh, right, about that. How was your appointment today, honey? Is everything okay? Everything is great. Everything cannot get any better. The news is, I'm pregnant. We're going to be having another baby. Uh, what now? Say what? Hi there, is there a Miss Tulip's Diamond? A Miss Tulip's Diamond. Please follow me. Oh, hi, yes, that's me. Come on, sweetheart. It's time to go see the doctor with mommy now. Hi there. So what brings you to me today? My mommy says she feels a little different. Can you please fix her, doctor? Oh, okay. So tell me, what is going on? What are you feeling that you feel is a bit different? For the last week, I've been feeling extremely nauseous. And not only nauseous, but I feel like I have no energy. You know, I don't know what's wrong though. Oh, and I'm always hungry. I'm always craving something. I have so many cravings for food these days. And it also feels like my emotions are also all over the place. I'm moody a lot. Um, and it's not my time of the month right now, so I can't explain why any of these symptoms are happening. I don't even know what's wrong, too, half the time. See, I see. 
Well, let me listen to your heartbeat while we wait for your results to come back. Mm -hmm. Well, your heart sounds very stable and strong. I don't hear any problem. But I know I'm going through something. Like, I know it's not in my head. I just feel something is different. Like it's off. Well, you always have to trust a woman's intuition. Mom! I mean, Dr. Sparkles? I got the results here from the test. Here, I'll give it to the doctor to check. And she'll explain to you. Perfect, thank you. Oh, great! I'm so nervous though. I wonder what it could be. I hope it's nothing serious. I hope I don't have anything serious. Oh, okay, okay, just breathe, relax. I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay, what is it, doctor? I see. Mmm. I see. Mmm. I see. Mmm. What? What does that mean? Is something wrong with me? Am I sick? Not at all. Congratulations! You're just pregnant. All of those symptoms are symptoms of pregnancy. I suspected that those were early signs of pregnancy, but I just didn't want to say anything before the results came out. <gasps> pregnant? What? Oh, that is such a surprise. We've been talking about it and trying for months now. Honey, did you hear that? Mommy's pregnant. Yes, did you? Where is your daughter? What? She was here just a moment ago. Oh no, where did she run off to? Oh dear, we have a loose toddler in the hospital. We have a loose toddler in the hospital. Oh no, she must have gotten bored and ran off. Uh, I guess once we have another baby, this is gonna be another thing to take care of and worry about. Uh, I gotta go find my daughter. Oh, babies! I love babies! So cute! because I'm only three. Oh wait, am I four? I don't know what your names are. I wonder what your names will be. Would you like me to give you a name? I will name you Strawberry. And I will name you Grapes. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally made these fall down. I'll help put it back up for you guys. Um, which one of you guys have this tag? Uh, I think it's yours. Sorry, I was touching and I dropped it by accident. But don't worry, I'll put it back on for you. And now for the other side. There, all done. Daisy, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, you had me so worried. Oh, my baby girl. Oh, you can't be running off like that, okay, Daisy? You had me worried sick. Okay, Mommy's done her checkup. We can go for ice cream now. Hey, really? Really? We're gonna go for ice cream? Sorry, Mommy. I won't run off again in the future. I promise. Mm-hmm. Okay, you promise. Oh, are those newborn babies? Oh, they're so cute. Bye, guys. Okay, let's go for ice cream now. This is my favorite room in the hospital. They are so cute. All these babies are so cute. The moms are going to be so happy to meet them. Let's bring these babies to meet their mommies and big sisters. Yes, yes, it's not exciting. Our family is growing some more now. I'm having another baby. You're going to be having another baby sister or a baby brother. Yay, I'm going to have a little baby brother or sister to play with. Yes, sweetheart, you will. There's a newborn baby brother or baby sister growing inside mommy's stomach right now. And in a few more months, you'll have another sibling to play with and our family will be growing bigger. Whoa, another baby? I mean, I mean, that's fantastic, but I feel like we're gonna need to look at a bigger house. I'm speechless. I think my head just exploded. What? Girls, isn't this just great news? Aren't you excited? <laughs> you know, this might be a good thing. 
Yeah, Mom, we Very are so excited. excited. Yay! Why are you so excited, little sister? If anyone, you should be the least excited because you won't be the youngest anymore. Yep, once the baby comes out, you'll become the middle child with me. <gasps> And you won't get away with everything anymore. <gasps> and when you're not the youngest, you don't get to be as spoiled as you are now. Look, mom and dad are already spoiling the newborn baby that's coming. Honey, you've had such a long day. And since now you're pregnant, maybe we don't have to read Daisy a bedtime story tonight. You should go rest early. That way you'll be fresh and ready for tomorrow. Aw, thanks honey. Maybe I should. It, it has been a long day. Yeah, you should rest more. I'll put Daisy to bed. Okay, thanks, honey. <laughs> no! I don't want a new baby sister and new baby brother. I want to be the favorite. I want mommy and daddy to spoil me. No! Press that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way, when a video is released, you'll be the first to watch it. Watch more of my toy videos by going to the search button and pressing in Minky Toys and Dolls or just Minky Toys. Lots of fun doll videos for you here.